Uh, welcome to a new video and a new compact camera phone, the Zenfone 9. And uh, we will try out the camera system and check if it is worth the money. So let's get started. So here we have the camera system and even with its case it looks pretty pretty cool and as you can see here we have the stabilized 50 megapixel 6 axis gimbal camera here with 1 over 1.5 inch size and we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle with a bit of a smaller sensor on the back. These are the only two cameras on the back but we have of course a front-facing camera that has also uh, 12 megapixel and is housed in this poncho with a silver ring around it. So here are all the specs of this device and I think we start up with the front-facing camera and its video quality. So I'm recording now with the front-facing camera of the Zenfone 9. This is 4K 30 frames per second. And the cool thing about this phone is not only that it can support 4K 30 frames per second on the front cam, but also it has autofocus. So if I hold my Xperia Pro I here into the camera, you can see how nicely it is focusing on it. So for product shots or something like this, you can just hold it in the camera and it will focus. So no matter how far, or how close your face is, it will focus on your face, which is pretty cool for front-facing camera. So let's check out the back-facing cameras. So this is now recording 4K30 on the main lens, the gimbal stabilized 50 megapixel sensor, and it's super, super stable. But I have some auto-focusing issues, so I probably, yeah, it's focusing on the background, not on my face. Maybe I have to go to the center, so it's focusing on me. Otherwise, yeah, this is a very nice and very stable camera at 4K 30. The gimbal is always active. You can go up to 8K 24 frames per second. So this is probably one of those cameras that produces the best stabilized 8K footage on the market right now, maybe rivaling the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. And we also have the ultra wide angle. The ultra wide angle can only be switched to during recording in 4K. 30, not in 4K 60 or 8K because the ultra wide angle doesn't support 8K at all. So let's switch to the ultra wide angle. There we go, that's the ultra wide angle and the ultra wide angle yeah, supports a very vlogger friendly 40 millimeters which might be very helpful for showing certain things. I think HDR is pretty good as well and it has also autofocus. So if I hold it now in a different, with a different hand you should be able like to focus on something like this and it has close focusing as well so you can see here for example the one inch size sensor on the Xperia Pro i and this is pretty awesome i would say especially for yeah product shots or something like this as this is a very ultra wide angle kind of view and yeah perfect for vlogging what do you think about the color stabilization and so on and this doesn't have the gimbal stabilization on the ultra wide angle but you have very good EIS and let's switch to the gimbal stabilized lens again let's see how good the stabilization is here and how good the focusing is here so let's go because I have like sort of the fear that the software currently has some issues with focusing so let's put my phone here maybe this as well to see how good it's focusing on this phone or any other object that I put in front of the camera. Uh, so what do you think about this stabilization and video of the Zenfone 9? So let's take a look at uh, the photos and I have some low light and night photos here for you but disclaimer I will do another video where I will explain to you a little bit more the night capabilities of this camera. I just wanted to show you that the gimbal is not like a magic tool to get better night photos. You can see it's quite grainy here and we have a little bit of shake induced even though we can see some details here. It is not the magic tool that helps you to get better night, sh night shot photos. Uh, otherwise in low light situations I think it's brightening things up with the night mode pretty good and you can see here that the details are there but it's a little bit grainy here and the algorithms of uh, ASUS are not the best in terms of getting rid of this graininess. When it comes to total darkness, this is the 3 seconds night mode default option, which is a little bit dark, I would say. But uh, I think there's a reason for it, because if you go into the night mode option and 
tune it to seven seconds this is the result it is a bit brighter it's a bit more grainy and it's a bit more bluish kind of cast going on this has something to do with um, if you go higher with ISO it has some kind of green and bl blue cast going on what I did was going down to 800 ISO and then I set I think the shutter speed to eight seconds this is what I got much more accurate colors but also much more shake induced so like I said the gimbal is not a magic tool that gets better night photos for you so it is a, even like very shaky like on normal phones as well maybe slightly bit better selfie cam here doing a pretty good job but it's, it's a very small selfie cam it has nice sharpness because it has auto focus but you can see here graininess is there because it's a very small sensor so even in this uh, dim lit situation um, or basically a shot inside of a room it is uh, falling apart a bit in terms of graininess the main cam and the biggest problem with the main cam it looks a bit artificial doesn't it where does this artificially come artificial look come from is it the colors no it's not the colors because the hdr is working fine it's the sharpening it's heavily sharpened up i don't know i it's rarely that i see a camera phone sharpen things up so much as you can see here everything sharpened up everything sharpened up foreground background everything everything is sharpened up very heavy sharpening applied and it looks just ugly when we zoom in two times much better the sharpening is a bit softer and uh, yeah it's getting softer here a bit here it's a bit a bit sharper but this one is like for two times zoom it's okay you can see maybe slightly too heavy sharpening still it's getting a bit darker for for some reasons that i don't I cannot explain there maybe hdr is not working as well as it was before and this is the ultra wide angle the ultra wide angle is doing a good job i would say for this price region i saw a little bit, a little bit better already but um, it's okay it has also heavy sharpening applied but it's not so bad as with the main cam and it's falling off onto the sides with a little bit of yeah getting a bit unsharp and it's grainy a bit yeah because it's a very, very small sensor but it is working main shot close-up shots looking nice uh, no issues at all with sharpness or focusing if you are far enough away of this shot and uh, also the bokeh looks nice one over 1.5 inch size sensor you cannot go wrong when it comes to close focusing i thought that the ultra wide angle cast macro capabilities but uh, the autofocus was not so good i had to step away a little bit to get every uh, get a confirmation but there yeah you can see a bit of detail but i think it's not very sharp and uh, yeah i fixed it with going to the manual mode in the ultra wide angle pro mode basically turning on off the automatic focusing and turning on the manual focusing which allows me to use focus peaking and here you can see nice and sharp nice details i really like this but i wouldn't call this a macro lens a main lens here in terms of reds does it have problem with colors or overblown reds no it doesn't have any problems with this really nice in terms of colors it's doing a good job here another shot where you can see heavily sharpening applied everything else hdr looks fine we have some clouds here we have the sun on the right side it is doing a good job a splendid job also by the ultra wide angle it's hindered a little bit by the small sensor size you can see some grain already here in the daylight on the board uh, on on the floor and on the uh, trees as well here to the side you can see a, a bit drunk already and sharpness is going away so the typical stuff fringing going on and a little bit overblown highlights eventually but i think it is still okay uh, what kind of job it is doing here i saw already better in this price region but um cannot complain too much here again the main lens it's not doing anything with too much punch in the colors no it's just too much sharpening applied too much sharpening that causes moiré as you can see here and everything sharpened up so much that no 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 aces you really have to put this down by default and in pro mode i don't want any sharpening applied please allow us to use this phone without any sharpening applied in pro in pro mode or give us a toggle or something like this because otherwise this is ridiculous uh, then again we can get some nice effects with the ultra wide angle where this is sharp and the rest is unsharp but you can see another effect it's this intelligent that is active and tries to sharpen up everything here is kicking in and is kicking in and it looks just bad the trees look bad because it's trying to sharpen up the trees because they were out of focus so allow us to disable this kind of feature please and the same goes here again um, in terms of hdr is doing a pretty good job as a small little zoom test this is five times zoom i think five times zoom is borderline painfully okay acceptable still this one looks okay if i zoom in don't be surprised by heavy sharpening and uh, filters going on but i think this could i could get away with this one still 
in uh, emergency situations when it comes to a time zoom something went wrong here totally with the automatic because this is sharp and then here towards this it became soft for some reason i don't know and no just no don't use a times zoom four to five times is the borderline maximum this is by the way where i was standing this is the one time shot and where i was taking the photo from and you can see if i zoom in here even if i zoom a little bit further you can see that yeah uh, the, it is really doing something uh, with the zoom it's not just cropping into here because this looks even worse because it's so much heavily sharpened up that uh, yeah it's not looking good otherwise hdr is working fine and uh, it's looking good i would say where the hdr is looking good the colors look good in photo mode in video mode it's totally different video mode is not too sharpened up in my opinion but has too much vibrance too much colors too much punch in the colors reds especially uh, blues especially yellows especially are a bit too vibrant in my opinion so would be nice at least in video pro mode that we have the possibility to tune it a little bit down the same goes for sharpening in photos so what do you think about uh, those photos on the Zenfone 9 so I'm recording now with uh, the uh, surround uh, sound in video pro mode on the Zenfone 9. It has a nice video pro mode where I really like that it has focus speaking. So if I want to manually focus, I have it very easily because I have this focus speaking option that allows me to see what is in focus and what is not. So this is surround um, sound mode with the microphones. Let's switch to the wind noise. So this is now the wind noise mode. So it will filter out wind sounds, um, especially if it is windy. I think it might make a lot of sense to filter this out and uh, maybe some other noises around me. So what do you think about this one here? And last but not least, HDR sound mode. I'm not sure why it's called HDR. Anyway, supposedly has a bit of better sound quality. I'm not so sure. It's been a bit windy here so I'm not sure how it handles this so what do you think about this sound quality here what do you think about the Zenfone 9 and its camera capabilities I think the photos are fine but the over sharpening is a bit concerning on the main camera in terms of video it's very very stable and I think it's good the autofocus is a bit concerning on the main camera however then the other thing is like close focusing distance is it really an ultra close focusing distance i had some issues with the photo mode in video mode however i have the feeling i could get a little bit closer to the subjects or objects that i want to photograph or yeah filmograph in this case so what do you think about the zenfone 9 and its camera capabilities i hope asus is listening and will update the camera system slightly so that focusing issues are yeah an issue of the past what do you think write it down in the comment section until the next time bye